Hello everyone. So today we'll step into a field of study in physics which is known as ray optics. Optics is the study about the various properties and the behavior of a form of energy which we call as light. Ray optics in particular is the study about light where we assume that light is propagating or traveling in the form of light rays. Well, before we get into any of the concepts of optics, first let us try and understand why we should study about light. Well, the biggest reason is fairly obvious as well. Light is one of the fundamental forms of energy. Light is the form of energy which enables us to see the world that we live in. Try to imagine a world without light. It's very difficult to do because without the presence of light, we won't be able to see anything. But what happens, how does light enable us to actually see all the objects which are around us? Let us try and understand this with the help of an example. Suppose you are at your home in your storeroom and you're trying to find your sports bag. Suddenly the power goes off. Now you have an important tournament tomorrow and you really require your sports bag. So you decide to light a torch and continue searching for the sports bag. Now you might have noticed here that you are only able to see the objects towards which you are pointing your torch at. All the surrounding objects are not that visible to you, are not that clearly visible to you. Why does this happen? This happens because the light that is coming out of your torch, it reaches those objects and it bounces back or reflects back from the surface of those objects to reach your eyes. This enables you to see those particular objects. The reason why you're not able to see the surrounding objects clearly is that light is not reaching those objects, ample light is not reaching those objects to bounce off their surface to reach your eyes. This is why you're not able to see those objects clearly. Now in daytime, we have ample light which is due to our sun, due to which you are able to see all your surroundings clearly. At night time, we use light bulbs or tube lights for this very purpose. This is how light enables us to see all the objects which are around us and the world that we live in. So this is the most basic principle, the most basic behavior of light which enables us to see. Now during the course of this topic, we'll go through three different chapters where we'll learn about the phenomena of reflection of light, refraction of light and the human eye. In this chapter, we'll learn about the various concepts related to the reflection of light and we'll see the various observations and laws which govern the study of reflection of light. See you in the next lecture.